What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to another unboxing video. I'm excited about this one just because I always get excited when it finally arrives. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 July Wizarding World box. This is the Loot Crate Harry Potter box. It's uh, J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, the spellbounding world of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Oh, this is a bi-monthly box, so we have to wait every other month to get it. So I'm excited that it's finally here. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Look at this cool little sticker that they have. This time instead of tape, it says Expecto Patronum. Once you cut the sticker and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Oh, something is trying to escape the box. Something is trying to escape. We are going to save the shirt for last. I like the feel of the shirt as always, but the color scheme is a little bit weird for me. Anyways, let's do this. First item we have is our pin. They've been getting a little bit fancy with their pins lately. I thought that this was the, uh, the Deathly Hollows sign, but it's actually just the symbol for warning. Like, warning, choking hazard. All right, so this pin is, this is, what's his name? Mar Marvolo Gaunt. This is the ring that had a Horcrux in it that Dumbledore found, and then when he put it on, it gave him, it like cursed his hand, and then he started to die. Uh, and then Harry broke it. I just gave hella spoiler alerts. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you guys have all read or watched Harry Potter. This is a pretty cool pin. I did like the pin that we got last time a little bit better, which I think was Tom Riddle's diary, and it had the, the basilisk fang like attached to it. So I like that one a little bit better. This one's cool. It's just not like the greatest thing in the world. So there's that. I wonder if that's what they're doing. They're just making pins that are going to be like all of the Horcruxes. I guess that'd be kind of a cool idea because then you'd get a whole set. That'd be kind of neat. All right, the next item we got is this. This is a journal. Surprise! This is a really little journal, though. This is a very small journal. What is on this? DA. So this is the journal that is representing Dumbledore's army. It's, it's really, really small. It has lined paper in it, I can tell by just looking at the side. It's kind of got like a, a fake leather. I don't know why I did quotes. A fake leather cover. All right, next we got this. Oh my gosh, is this a small replica wand? <gasps> you guys. Oh, it's a wand pen. So this is from Ollivanders. And the cool thing about this is on the back of this box, this is actually from the Noble Collection, which I think is really, really cool. That just makes it a little bit cooler. This is kind of awkward looking. So there's what it looks like in the box. Whoa, this thing is so heavy. Okay, this is cool, but it looks weird. I'm assuming it looks like this because it's a pen. So the, the handle of the wand is the cover of the pen. The pen is made out of metal. Like this whole thing is metal, so it's very heavy. I would actually not want to write a long period of time with this because there's so much weight on this side. I feel like it would eventually make my hand cramp faster. I don't know how that works when you're writing with something really heavy, but it's weird because it's like real heavy up here. Uh, and then this is the little handle cover. I think this is a cool item in concept, but in reality, it's okay. I think it looks weird. I don't think it necessarily looks fully like a wand. It just kind of, you know what this looks like? It looks like the top part of when you have a lighter, like those lighters that have the longer black end. That, that's what this looks like. So there you go. You have your wand pen that is based off of Snape's wand. Again, cool concept, but the execution is okay. All right, next we have, we have a punch out of a stag and a dementor, which you can't see, I don't know oh, what this is for. Oh, you know what, you probably can turn this box inside out and then you like attach these things. So, let's see, can you guys see? Okay, so the dementor is the bigger 
outline and then the stag is on the inside. So if you pop the stag out, then you'll probably have a dementor with the silhouette or an opening of a stag. I would say exactly that that's just for the box design. What is going on this month? Why are we getting such... This is... I mean, it's cool. So let us let me show you before I make comments. These are bookends. So they gave us two bookends. It says Loco Motor on it. These are... This is the dude that guards Hogwarts. He's like he's like the, the guy who stands and then they do the thing and then he, bows down and he blocks it. Good explanation, Steph. Good explanation. There's actually two. I don't want to unpackage these because they're wrapped in, in... Are they wrapped? No, they're not. Just kidding. But it's the same thing. So we got two metal bookends of the guards at Hogwarts. Locomotor and Pure Totem. Is that what's on the front of the, the building? This one seems more familiar than this one. Anyways, these are just metal bookmarks. Book ends, not bookmarks. Why do I keep calling things bookmarks? Um, these are cool. Here's what I'm going to say with this. It's odd because in the nerd block box, we just got bookmarks. Did we also get a journal in that one? Or is that a different one? I feel like lately we've been getting a lot of journals and a lot of book ends. I keep saying bookmarks. But I still like these. These are really cool and they're metal and they're good quality. So for me, that's kind of worth it. All right, and the last time we have is our shirt. We got a shirt from Harry Potter. This is actually a BioWorld shirt, which is cool. And it's a licensed shirt, men's medium. It's kind of this bluish color. It's like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what color to call this, but it does, it's like heathered. So it has little bits of black in it, which probably gives it that look. So this is a Loot Crate exclusive. It says, counter curse for a limited time only. Protect against dark arts. The dark arts, it's free. I like the feel of the shirt. I'm not a huge fan of the design this month. Not the best design that they've ever come up with. It's like weird. I have this thing about designs that are like, this is meant to look like almost like a circus poster. But I don't know how I feel about designs that have like tons of different types of font all over and everything. Like I like things that are a little bit more clean and just like straightforward. But I don't know. Some people like things like that. So it makes sense. All right, that is all the items in the box. Let's go do some pricing and recap. You guys can't see it, but Mac just walked over and just plopped down on my lap. Let me see if I can show you. He's, he's literally, he's just chilling. He is just chilling. <laughs> I'm like Hermione Granger with Cook Shakes. Here's our little card. The theme this month was Defense Against the Dark Arts. I'm trying not to scare Mac. His nails are so sharp right now, his claws, and I can feel them grabbing into my arm. So if he gets scared, it's going to be scary. So there it is, Defense Against the Dark Arts, and then here's our little recap. So the first item we got was our shirt. The shirt is a licensed Harry Potter shirt, so I'll go ahead and give that $12. We got our Harry Potter bookends. These are really cool, and they're metal. I would probably give those anywhere from $15 to $20. I think... Over $20 would be pushing it if you consider it like, I mean, I'm sure if you go on eBay, they're probably way more expensive, but in general, like if you were to see that the store, I think $15 to $20 would be a sufficient price. Let's go ahead and give those, I'm actually okay giving them $15 on the lower end of the price point. I'd rather be low than aim high because I don't want to juke you guys and give you like a fake price. I did look up the instructions on this. If you pop this out and you put it in the box, basically you can get to the point where you shine a flashlight through it and it'll pop up that kind of as a shadow on the wall or on the box, something of that sort. This Snape wand pen, I would probably give this like $12. Between 10 and 15, I don't think I would give it any more than that. I don't know if this is a um, an exclusive. Oh, it says everything's exclusive. So you might be able to give it 15. I think that's really pushing it. This one, it's again, it's a good concept, but I don't think that the execution was really quite there. Let's go ahead and give that $12. I'm going to stick on the lower end because I, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I would have rather, you know what I would have rather have, even though it's not as usable or as functional, I would have rather had a miniature version of a replica wand. To me, with like a little stand, to me that would have been way cooler than this because this just kind of looks funky. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, we have our little DA journal. I would, so I usually give full size journals $10. This one's a lot smaller. I'd probably give this about $7, I think, for a licensed exclusive product that's fair. And then we have our 
pin. I wasn't a huge fan of the pin this month. That pin I'll go ahead and give, I'll give it $5. It's not as fancy as the other one. If it was like like the other one, which was a two-part pin, I gave it $6, I think, or $8. I don't remember. But that one's kind of just a normal pin. It's a little bit weird. It's a little awkward. All right, so that's all the items in the box. According to my pricing, this box is worth $51. This box costs $40 per box, which means we got $11 extra value on top of what we paid for it. So here's the thing. For a $40 box, we're usually looking for about... I would say 12-ish dollars extra value. We were a dollar short, but I did price everything on the lower end of the price point. So you can easily give this box another up to maybe $11 if you wanted to price on the higher end. So you could potentially get your value. It just depends on how comfortable you are pricing things at whatever price point you price them. If I had to rate this box, I, it's so weird. I'm always so excited to get this box, but then when I get it, I'm always not disappointed, but kind of, where I'm like, it's cool, and some of the items are cool, but nothing, and they're all licensed, and they're all exclusives, and that's great, but like, it's just nothing's that exciting. My favorite item in this box is definitely the bookends, just because I feel like I really would like the Snape wand, but I, I don't like the way it looks, so I'm not a huge fan of it. So the bookends are probably my favorite item in this box. The shirt I, I'm not a fan of, the the pin I wasn't a fan of, and then the journals, it's like okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So for some reason, I just haven't seemed to like a lot of the items that come in this box. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box just a 4 out of 5 noobs. It has decent value, and it has, it has good quality products. It's just I, for some reason, am not... Like, I don't really connect with the things that they give us in this box for some reason. I don't know why. There's certain things I don't like about each thing. So, but yeah, I do enjoy these bookends. You can never have too many bookends. That's a true story. I know most people don't have books, but th that's a real thing is that I'm always looking for bookends. And they're made out of metal and they're good quality, so I do enjoy them. I think they could have potentially picked a better design on the bookends, but I don't mind that one. I just think that there's so many things, you know. Sometimes this box gives us, like, really obscure things. But I guess it makes sense... I take it back, based off the theme, which was Defense Against the Dark Arts, because those dudes guard Hogwarts uh, during the battle, so. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I just, there's only a couple Harry Potter boxes out there, so there's really not much to choose from. And it's really between this and the Geek Gear box, and they're not the exact same pricing. The Geek Gear box is a little bit cheaper, but yeah, I don't know. I also think that I overhype this box sometimes in my mind because it's every other month. It's bi-monthly, so I feel like because of that, it should be like amazing, like really amazing because they have, you know, two months to put the box together instead of just one month like everyone else but yeah I don't know let me know what your thoughts are down below and remember if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up shortly and before we go it's time to do the video shout out please don't get scared Mac please don't get scared Mac Today's video shout out goes to Rocky Manzin 2. Rocky Manzin 2, thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate the support that you show me. You get the video shout out from both me and Mac. Ooh, you're the first one. Congratulations. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.